Life as Corbin, Zombies for Halloween. Created by Mark Spetz. On a Halloween night, cold and eerie, sat I at home, alone and weary, munching my bag of candy cheery, when came a knock upon my door. Peeking out, I stood astounded, a zombie lurking about unbounded, moaning on my door, he pounded, louder than before. Why wasn't he six feet under? Surely did this cause me wonder. In jolts of lightning, flaps of thunder, he prattled more and more. Was he here to trick or treat? The one night a year kids run the street to get all the free candy they can eat. So I opened wide my door. I handed him a candy bribe but he refused to stay outside. Never did he break his stride, lumbering across my floor. What was this dude intending? With arms outstretched unbending, I asked, are you pretending? He simply did ignore. Only one word did he utter, brains. In a muddled spit, and sputter, my heart began to flit and flutter, till he crushed my candy on the floor. Now it was time to even the score. Quickly I grabbed a ball and chain, this I used to him restrain, while he tried to eat my brain, I tethered him to the floor. But suddenly, there were more. Back toward the entrance turning, heard I ghoulish sounds concerning an appetite of zombies yearning. So I ran to bolt the door. The spell I knew that they were under, if my door they break asunder, twill be I who's buried under, and my brains spilled on the floor. This was turning into war. Gathering outside, faster and faster, zombie apocalypse disaster. Finally, they were able to master, breaking down my door. This was becoming quite hardcore. Eagerly they chanted, brains, as cold chills coursed through my veins. Trying to save my candy remains, it became a tug of war. Moaning as they hounded, circling me surrounded. My arms and legs they bounded, merrily they tore, just like kids in a candy store. All they wanted was to eat my brains, nothing less, nothing more. They simply love brains galore. What started as the perfect dream, ended in a sweaty scream. When zombies came for Halloween. Right into my tender core, I threw my costume on the floor. Being a kid can be quite complicated. Because I don't want to be a zombie for Halloween anymore. But it was time to hit the street. I needed a costume to trick or treat. Or I'd have no candy this year to eat. I was definitely done for. My life seems insufferably tragic. <laughs> Except for one costume, my friends would call me crazy if I wore. Seriously, look at me. I'm a total eyesore. Things a kid will do to score free candy. Then, suddenly, I heard a creepy roar. Outside my window creeping, a zombie stood inward peeping. Inside my head, my brain was freaking. 
as he lurched up to my door. Why do bad things in life seem to come in threes? I darted back across the floor. Am I scary or what? Behind the couch I hid away. He asked for candy. I said, no way. Zombie, I cried, just go away. But he stood there silent, blocking the door. Then slowly removed the mask he wore. My dad told me the zombie apocalypse won't begin until after the nuclear holocaust, when rat neurotoxins seep into our brains. Wade always manages to put things in perspective. Ah, whoo. It was only Wade, my friend, from next door. I wouldn't be caught dead in that costume. On that Halloween night, cold and eerie, laid I down, most tired and weary, munching my bag of candy cheery. Soundly, I began to snore from a major Halloween score. If there's more to life than candy, don't tell me. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Halloween story, Dora's Halloween Adventure.